And here we go. Our plan worked flawlessly and apparently killed the freighter in the process. Might have been the one that wasn't the system there. We have 11 cruisers remaining and he has zero gunboats remaining. Yeah, they did start right next to the planet here. And let's zoom in a little bit. Looks weird when they're stacked up like this. Let's show the uh, ranges, let's show the hit points, although I guess the hit points aren't going to mean much. Uh, ships are not shooting the planet with its uh, now almost 700,000 HP. He still has the same stuff on it as last time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yep, there has gunboats start to come out. And the firing starts. He has missiles on these things, so, um... I was expecting a little bit of damage on my ships. Let's see, yeah, here's one that's uh, getting damaged. Uh, no damage on the armor. <laughs> Structure is pretty far down. Oh, uh, well this is the uh, scout ship. Hope the gravity area stays intact. This one was also the one ship that had PD specifically on this ship, uh, on the, in this fleet. All the other guys just have mass drivers and things. So oh, I'll put PD on these as well. Very nice. Yep, there they go. Dispatched. I'm afraid that was a little too much military hardware. A few crippled ships trying to escape. Oh, these two. This woman looks like it's... Yeah, looks like it was just another gunboat that was stuck inside the planet model. And now, here those ships are. Not shooting the planet, uh, but apparently not leaving the sector either. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And on the combat triggers at, triggers at the end of the turn, where I'm guessing they just sit around on the other side of the sector, feeling threatened. And what's this? A freighter? Uh, meeting our scout. Oh, did he come through a war point now? That was the freighter in this combat, I haven't seen this. But it was the portable Mark II. Or the portable number two. <laughs> yeah, we took a little bit of damage, I can deal with this. Uh, we still don't have any repair ability, so any damage uh, that he uh, manage manages to deal to us will stay. And honestly, if he just puts a couple lasers on these on gunboats and builds them every turn, then he can damage me quite a bit. And he can build a lot of gunboats in one turn with those extra uh, shipyards that he has. The thing is, does he have the money to build them? Because right now his planet should be blockaded, which means uh, most of his income should also be should also be uh, blocked. What does he have on here? He doesn't have any buildings on here! He doesn't have anything on here, he just has two billion people on here. This planet contains an ancient scout post which reads all uh, cloaked ships in the sensor range in this system. Yeah, but that's the same ability that you also get from your radar facility, isn't it? Uh, where is it? Did he, did he kill his radar facility? Or maybe he did because he had that ability. Uh, then you probably didn't even see me coming last turn, huh? Yeah, I'm not just blind, he does not have his radar facility uh, that I started with at least. Ships in the system can be scanned in detail, detects cloaked ship. Oh, I guess uh, there's a difference between detects cloaked ship up to cloak level 2 and detects all cloaked ships, huh? Uh, okay, that does have an advantage then. So he doesn't have any buildings on the planet right next to his home world. There's still one tiny uh, planet in his home system that we haven't seen. We don't know if he's built anything here. No, we do. He's not built anything here. And there are these two uh, st uh, buildings that he built on here. Otherwise from that he's not built any buildings outside of his uh, home world. I mean, the game is 30, fa 30 some turns in by now. And even with the uh, slow build rates in this mod, that's probably not what it should be. Oh, did we forget to queue up anything on this world? We might have. 
Well, you are big. You are going to need a light shop yet in order to build anything at all at some point. Uh, uh huh. He's. Oh, his ships are gone. See? I don't know where they're going. But he's left one ship behind. With the scoozers, it looks like. What if I send the give this ship an attack order? Will this actually trigger combat or will I just follow them? I'm not sure. Uh, but I am sure that I want to invade this planet. I'm just not sure about how well this fleet is going to fare against his uh, three or four ships. Let us simulate these ships against his, but I think mine ships are going to lose big time here. A single battery mounted kinetic gun against his armored warships that have missiles should thrash these things. Maybe I should um, retreat this rather expensive supply ship. The thing is I can still take the planet before he can do anything about it. And he doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the troops to take it back. Against uh, what were they called? Unwell, they are unwell. Three torpedo cruisers against four unwell defense ships. They're just small warships too. They're not big ones, which means they have even less structure HP. Expect them to die horribly. Yeah, single missiles probably gonna no, be enough to do each of them in. And you can see that their armor tanks quite well, and each missile means the ship of mine is dead. Because we managed to disable one of their ships in the simulation, uh, but uh, these ships are not going to win against those ships. Okay, even if he starts building defenses in this turn, it's not going to be enough. They are only going to be uh, applying next turn. If he starts building something this turn, and even if it's a one turn build, then it'll only show up next turn. I guess ground combat is at the end of the turn, I'm not sure if new troops will appear in ground combat then. Uh, but, we don't need to. Actually, we should probably put this together with these, just in case. Make this the t task force leader. Set the attack strategy to invade planet. And should we retreat that thing? Not yet. I don't think yet. So he had his ships on the other side of this war point. So going through the war point was his first move, then this is his second, this is his third. One, two, three. One, two, three. And which means I have like two turns of uh, time before I need to have my ships away from there. He's going to be able to go here and potentially get molested by my fighters though. The fighters unfortunately can't move themselves, they don't have any supply to, le to leave their sector. Uh, they are move one hex cost with these thrusters, with these oversized uh, mounted thrusters is going to be too big to actually leave the sector. And his missiles wouldn't be able to hit these fighters either, so they would do a good. Uh, they would be a good counter, which I guess means that this uh, co that this colony is safe. Uh, which means I should probably build some fighters on here as well. You just queue this up, yeah. Why would you just build a couple fighters? Oh God, they take a while. Uh, should we build a single? Covet? No, I think Covet is going to take longer yet than four fighters. Okay. And then let's give the attack order here. Attack you just to check again. Have invade planet. You guys are actually at zero move because task force leader has been disabled. Oh no, it hasn't because any ship on here has been disabled. So let's uh, eject you. Mm, yeah, this is fine.
But yes, the Zelda array is still uh, online, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. I would not mind having a repairability on my ships, but we don't have any components that do that. Oh, we do. We do apparently have a repair bay available. How about for this next fleet we're gonna send out, we are going to include a repair ship. Let us take this ship and remove these things and put in a repair bay. Can only do it on the outside. They're going to require a lot more crew. And uh, they are also going to have taken out all the ordnance and most of the supply storage, which means we can't afford to have these things all here. So let's just um, let's just replace this. Oh wait. Where's the extra space all gone through gone? Yeah, I guess the large cooker is actually big, huh? I guess this means we're going to have to uh, downsize our defenses a little bit. Uh, can we maybe still have one shield on here? Have this thing tank at least a little bit. Mm, we don't have enough armor. Can we make do with less crew quarters? Yeah, we can. This would be fine. 76 to 100 means that it would definitely be more efficient to put on a large one than try to fill it up with small crew quarters. Mm. And yeah, they're leveled up, they're just uh, cheaper. They don't actually give us any more crew. Your strategy is going to be ours LG, meaning run screaming like a girl. Your type is going to repair. Your name is going to be... Well, I guess hospital would also be uh, an appropriate name for this one. Most combat. Hypertrophy of the heart. Do you have anything related to healing? Uh, I guess hospital would actually do. Do you have anything else related to hospitals here, huh? Call it just a hospital ship then. I don't care if I'm gonna confuse it with carrier or not. At least that's what I say now. So, we still have 10 kilotons left over. Do we wanna slap anything else on? Uh, we probably wanna slap on extra supply storage. Or maybe even extra supply generation. Yeah, I'm afraid that one is going to be insufficient. I can't really remove 15 kilotons unless I remove the shield generator. Oh wait, I have 8, 12, I have 15 kilotons of armor which I could remove. But if, I can, if I'm going to remove all the armor, I might as well remove the shield generator. Fine, this is going to be an undefended chip then. So what do you say? A hundred supplies, meaning three hundred supplies to move three tiles. And we generate almost a hundred. Because this thing makes 75. Which means we probably want a few more. Uh, let's slap in one of the nuclear reactors. Because they mostly add radioactives cost. And let's slap in two small crew quarters. And let's slap in an extra armor plate. That is still not enough to actually uh, make enough. Still not enough to make actually enough supplies, but I hope with the little bit of supply storage it has, this thing does have extra supply storage as well. And that'll be sufficient to get this thing where it needs to anyway. I could math out the exact number of hexes or turns it'll move to, but uh, I think this will be sufficient. Let's cure one of these. And hope we still have money to actually build and maintain these things. Uh, looks a little tight still. So looks a little tight. I wouldn't actually mind if we lose a few ships, because <laughs> then I don't have to pay less maintenance. The question is, can I make do with less ships, though? So this thing actually looks uh, entirely disabled. 
only the core components are still intact. Everything else is damaged. So how about we just blow this thing to hell? Um, can we give you a self-destruct order? No, there needs to be a special ability. So how about we just have you fired or not destroyed? Okay. It's always annoying when you have a disabled ship sitting around somewhere in, th in that space and it costs you supply every turn but you can't kill it because it doesn't have a uh, self-destruct ability. But fortunately we have other ships in this system that have guns on them. Technology. We uh, actually didn't sack technology last turn. Could that be? I think we might have forgotten. Let us finish this tech. Du -du -du -du. And let us finish this tech. And we still have 20% investment le left over. Let's see. Genetic manipulation gives us these neural cores, I guess. Those are, those are the ones he has then. Uh, orbital space dock, supercomputer, a bunch of fancy stuff, but it's expensive. Better research labs is still uh, an option. Mobile industry, maybe better medium thrusters uh, would be nice. Because they, they still seem like the thing to go to for maximum thrust per kiloton. Oh, they also have a planetary industry. Interesting. Uh, this quantum physics doesn't give us anything new. And lasers. I think I want to unlock lasers. Uh, could go for better cloaks, but their cloaks are going to be used in his home system. We could go for better armor, but... He seems to be using missiles and lasers, which aren't stopped by armor. Oh, shields seem good enough here. I think uh, lasers ourselves is going to be the thing, because I haven't seen any shields of his yet. I'm going to set you to sentry. And what else do we have? We have this ship, which can stay there and keep an eye on anything he builds here. Uh, then we order the ship to move here. Did it just move one tile? I think I might have just moved one tile. Yeah, did somebody come through with you last turn? Yes, the uh, transport came through here last turn. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. We decided we couldn't kill that with that ship too. Okay, let's it then again. Okay, I'm going to poke Ed and see if he wants to give up with his homeworld on the blockade or if he wants to try and break it. If he doesn't, I guess that means this is the end. If not, well, we have plans. <laughs>